Good evening everyone, welcome to South London Home Choir. Today we're going to be starting a lovely new folk song and we've also got a fun psychedelic arrangement of a seminal work by the Beatles to sing through as well. Uh, to finish the session we'll recap with something you know already. However, let's start with a quick warm-up. I'm going to do some shoulder rolls, big shoulder rolls coming forward. Creak, creak, going the other way. Oh, I've been spending too much time on the computer. All right, let's just come forward one at a time with those shoulders. Good, and backwards one at a time. Good, and really bad posture, bunched up, and whew. and again, really bad posture, and whew. and again, up, hold your breath, and whew. down, good, and just wave your arms a little bit, give yourself some room, and we're getting bigger, nice big circles. And change direction. And smaller. And faster as so you get smaller. Faster, 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 faster. And just bouncing on one leg. Shake out one half of your body. And shake out the other half. And we're just going to do a quick massage. So I'd like to start with the back of my neck with one hand. And I'm going to come down the shoulder. Digging into your shoulder, the bits that need it the most. And then we go down the shoulder, onto the arm, and just squeezing down your arm. And let's do the other side. We start at the back of the neck. And down the shoulder. And onto the arm. And out through the hand. And let's have a big yawn. Okay, good. Let's do a quick uh, breathing exercise. So I'm gonna if I'm gonna put a hand here and a hand here. We'll do the same. Just keep those hands here. Uh, I call this exercise the steam train because, well, you'll see why. Um, here's a pulse. Okay, and we're going to go shh like that. Let's just do it. Shh. Nice. So it jerks here. And again, shh. So, first of all, we just fit one of those shh sounds to a beat. And shh. Like that, that's all. Shh, shh. So there's a shh every beat. And then we fit two. Shh, 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 shh. Let's try that. Shh, 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 shh. Good. Then three. Shh, 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 shh. Let's try that. Shh, 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 shh. Good. Then four. Shh, 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 shh. Good. Then six. Good, and then at the end, whatever breath you've got left, you just let it out on a nice shh. You probably won't have much breath, to be fair. Um, so let's do it all. So we do one to a beat, two to a beat, three to a beat, four to a beat, miss out five, and we do six to a beat. Okay? But first of all, we exhale, expel all the air, and then we inhale on four. Ready? And shh 
good. Well done. And you can see why it's called the steam train because it sounds like a departing steam train. Um, let's do it again. Um, I'm going to try and take a deeper breath this time. I want to have some more, um, more air at the end. So we exhale on four, we inhale on four, and then we start. Exhale. Inhale. Good, let's do it one more time. Exhale, first of all. Inhale. Okay, good, well done. Um, I'm gonna... Get on the piano now. Let's just go. Vive va, vive va, and vive va. Vive, you can start up there if you like. And then we go. Vive va. Let's do that. Vive va, and then we go. Vive va and vive va. Good. So three of the three kind of variations. Let's do it again. Vive va and then vive va and then vive va. Okay. We're gonna come up. V and Vive va, vive va, vive va. Good, coming up again and vive va, vive va, vive va. Coming up again and. Vive va, vive va, vive va. We move up and vive va, vive va, vive va. Good. We move up again and. Vive va, vive va, vive va. We move up again. This is for the sopranos, really now. And vive va, vive va, vive va. We'll do one more and vive. Vive va, vive va. Okay, good, well done. Okay, let's have a look at um, a little song to warm up on. Um, so uh, we probably already know this. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. We're going to play a little game. My Bonnie lies over the ocean. My sing along if you remember how it goes. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Let's just sing that. And my bonnie lies over the ocean. Good, then it goes. My bonnie lies over the sea. Let's sing that. My bonnie li lies over the sea. And again that line. My bonnie lies over the sea. And then again. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Let's just sing that. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Good. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. That line. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. Okay, I'm sure you're all familiar with this. Let's 
put it up a bit. My bonnie lies. Three, four. My bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. Good. And the important thing is that some people sing, so bring back my bonnie to me. We're going to sing, oh, bring back my bonnie to me. And that's important because with one hand, oh, you can either use your, um, probably can use your right or your left. I'm going to use my left, so you might want to mirror me and use your right. We're going to go up and down whenever there is a word beginning with O. So if, the, if, it's, if there's a word beginning with O when you're down, you go up. If there's a word beginning with O when you're up, you go down. So let's just try it nice and slow. Three, four. My bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. Okay, easy enough, right? Let's do it once more. Words beginning with O. Three, four. My bonnie lies over the ocean. My, uh, did I, did I mess that up? No, I probably got that right. Uh, let's do it again. I'm just to doubt myself. There is no, absolutely zero chance I'm going to be able to get through this. Um, let's try it again. My bonnie, three, four. My bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. Okay, good. Now, what I want to do it with the other arm, the arm you didn't use then, we're going to go up or down on words beginning with B. Words beginning with B. Let's try it nice and slow. Three, four. My bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. So you've got to think quickly at the end. Uh, let's do it one more time. And my bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. Okay, good. You know where I'm going next. We're going to try and put them together, okay? So, first arm O, second arm B, okay? Feeling really nervous. My... Three, four. My bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. Yes, let's try it faster. And my bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. One more time, even faster. Three, four. My bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. My bonnie lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my bonnie to me. Whew. Okay, good. Well done. Good warming up. Okay, um, before I hand over to Eleanor, let me just say a big thanks to everyone who has sent in their recordings of those who wish to sing for our virtual choir project. We've had some requests from people for a bit more time. So we've extended the deadline until Friday. So you have until the end of the day on Friday to record yourself singing along to the rehearsal track of Those Who Wish To Sing, which can be found at quaggycommunitychoir.com forward slash South London Home Choir, the usual place. Um, instructions are there as well. 
Uh, the song is so simple to learn. The most important things to remember are to wear headphones when you record as you listen to the track. And if there are two or three of you in the house taking part, please record your voices separately. Once you've sent in your recording, we'll be able to, uh, we'll be uh, in touch about the visual element of the project. We're going to deal with that once we've got all the audio. It will probably just involve meeting up one evening on Zoom to film ourselves singing the song through. So, you know, nothing to worry about. Um, at the end um, of all this, we'll have a lovely video and audio recording. So it'll be a wonderful memento of these strange times that we can all be proud of. Um, so, in other words, please do get involved. Even if you haven't learned the song with us yet, you'll be able to pick it up very easily just by listening to the rehearsal track. Right, over to Elna for a new song. See you in a bit. Cool, thanks Jake. Hi guys. Um, so, the song we're going to learn tonight, a few of you might have done with us in Crib Notes uh, a month or two ago, um, but we figured it was a beautiful song that was worth a little bit of a longer go, and actually some of you haven't done it yet, so... Um, this is a really beautiful Macedonian folk song uh, arranged by Jake called Stomie Milo. Um, interesting, uh, there's an interesting feature about it, which I'm going to just leave and see if you guys know. If you've already done this one, you know what it is, zip it. Um, see if the people who haven't done it can work out what it is. So let's just start with the words. So it goes Stomie Milo. Just do the words without the rhythm to start with. Just have a go at that. So, sto mi e milo. One more time. Sto mi e milo. Then, milo e drago. You guys. Milo e drago. Um, let's just try putting that into the rhythm. So, it's going to be sto mi e milo. You guys. Sto mi e mi lo. Next bit is mi lo e drago, you guys. Mi lo e drago. Good, so let's just put all of that together because the rhythm is half the battle. <clears throat> Ready, sto and sto mi e mi lo. Mi lo e drago. Good. Next bit goes Vostruga Grada. Let's just say that. Vostruga Grada. Struga. Okay. And Vostruga Grada. Mamo du Kianda Imam. Let's try that. Mamo du Kianda Imam. Good. Let's just do all of that line. So Vostruga grada, you guys. Vostruga grada. Next bit. Mamo du kianda imam, you guys. Mamo du kianda imam. I'm gonna put it into the rhythm now. So vostruga grada mamo. Let's do to there. <laughs> Give it a go and. Vostruga grada mamo. One more time. And Vostruga grada mamo. Last bit. Du kianda imam. You guys. Du kianda imam. Good. So that line, let's do all of that line. Vostruga. Ready? And Vostruga grada mamo du kianda imam. Let's just speak the whole of that bit. Uh, this bit keeps coming back. Um, so if you guys want a score and you haven't got one, I think actually Jake might have didn't. I the web page is the same basically um, as the one Jake mentioned for the recording. So quaggycommunitychoir.com forward slash South London Home Choir. Um, the scores are all on there along with rehearsal recordings and previous session videos and anything else you might need. So do go grab a score if you haven't got one already because it will help with the words particularly. Okay, let's start with voice three. So voice three is the lowest, voice two, middle, voice one, high. Pick your part and stick to it or uh, try all three, up to you. So. So the voice three starts off like this. Stormy e milo 
Milo-i-dragos. You just have one note, you guys, to start with. So voice three, let's just try that. Ready? And. Sto mi e milo, milo e drago. One more time, ready? And. Sto mi e milo, milo e drago. Awesome. Next bit goes. Vo struga grada mamo. Let's just try that. So vo struga. Ready? And. Vo struga grada mamo. One more time. Ready? And. Vo struga grada mamo. Last bit. Du kianda imam. You guys. And. Du kianda imam. So if we do the whole of that last line. Second line rather. It goes. Vo struga grada mamo du kianda imam. Let's try that. Ready? And. Vo struga grada mamo du kianda imam. Awesome. So that's voice three. The, um, the sort of like a refrain that keeps coming back. Let's give that a go from the beginning. Voice three. Sto. Ready? And. Sto mi e milo, milo i drago. Vo struga grada mamo du kianda imam. And then we're going to do it immediately again. So let's do that. And you end on the note you're going to start the, the repeat on anyway. So that's really, really helpful. Okay. Ready? And again. And. Sto mi e milo, milo i drago. Vo struga grada mamo du kianda imam. Awesome. So that's voice three for the first section. Let's try voice two now. So you start on the same note, but you move away from it quite quickly. So voice two goes. Sto mi e milo, milo i drago. Let's just try. Sto mi e milo. Just that bit ready. And sto mi e milo. One more time. And sto mi e milo. Next bit. Milo i drago. You guys. Milo i drago. One more time. Milo i drago. So from the beginning. Sto. And voice three. You're starting on the note to sto mi e milo. So if you want to sing along, please do. Just remember to stay on that note for the whole of the first line. So voice two, ready? And sto mi e milo, milo i drago. Awesome. Voice two, next bit. Vo struga grada mamo du kianda imam. So let's do that in a little bit. So, vo struga grada, just to there, ready? And, vo struga grada, next bit, mamo du kianda imam. Mamo, ready? And, mamo du kianda imam. Let's try putting all of that line together. We'll do it a couple of times. Vo, ready? And, Vo struga grada mamo du kianda imam. One more time, ready? And vo struga grada mamo du kianda imam. Awesome. Let's try all of that. Voice two, but voice three, I hope you'll sing along as well. So, voice three and voice two. Ready? And. Sto mi e milo, milo i drago. Vo struga grada mamo du kianda imam. Awesome. Voice one. 
Let's give it a go. So you also start on the same note. Jake's always lovely like this. There's always there's always at least one really nice point where you can uh, you can really check if you're all together. So it goes like this. Stormy Milo, Milo e Drago. That's the beginning. So Stormy Milo. Voice one ready and Stormy Milo. Next bit. Milo e Drago. You guys. Milo e Drago. Let's try putting all of that together a couple of times. Sto ready. Ready and Stormy Milo. Milo e Drago. Let's do it one more time. Ready and voices two and three can sing along if you want because it's the same note to start. Ready and Stormy Milo. Milo e Drago. Then voice one next bit. Let's just do to there. Ready and Vostugagrada. One more time and Vostugagrada. Next bit. Mamo do kanda imam. Mamo do kanda imam. You've got a few extra notes in there from the other parts. Mamo ready and Mamo do kanda imam. So let's try the whole of the second line. Voice one. Vo ready and Vo struga krada mamo do kanda imam. Cool, well done. Let's do from the beginning voice one, but voices two and three, please do sing along. You start on the same note. So I'm singing voice one. Ready and Stormy Milo, Milo e Drago, Vostuga Grada, Mamo do Kianda Imam. Awesome, well done. Let's try all of that together. I'm going to sing uh, voice three first, and then voice two, and then voice one. Um, Jake, I might need you to give me thumbs up or down uh, for volume. <laughs> Here we go. From the top, I'm singing voice three. Ready? And. Stormy e milo, milo e drago, voice through grada, mamo du kanda imam. Stormy e milo, cool. Okay, voice three, you get another go with me singing it. There we go. Okay, here we go. Everybody on the same note, ready? And. Stormy e milo, milo e drago, vos truga grada mamo du kanda imam. Stormy e milo, milo e drago, vos Good. And now let's go back one more time. I'm going to sing voice one. Here we go. Last time. Ready? And. Stormy e milo, milo e drago, vos truga grada, mamo du kanda ima. Stormy. Fab. In fact, let's just carry on. You guys just have a go on your own. Ready? And I am stormy e milo, milo e drago, vos truga grada mamo du kanda imam. Awesome. Well done, guys. Um, we've got a few minutes. So I think let's try the next. Uh, let's just try the next section as well quickly. So it goes, Lele varai mome. Just say that for me. And 
Lele varai mome, then mome kalino, you guys, mome kalino, uh, then vo struga grada mamo du kyanda imam, which is familiar, so that should be easy. Cool, let's put all of that together. Le, ready? And le le varai mome, mome kalino, vo struga grada mamo du kyanda imam. Awesome. Um, let's give it a very quick, I'm not going to do this in as much depth, but just to give you an idea. Okay, so voice three, you have le, or a lot on the same notes. Le le varai mome, mome kalino. So you've just got two notes there, ready? And le le varai mome, mome kalino. Then vo struga grada mamo du kyanda imam, which should sound familiar by now. <laughs> okay. Let's just give that a go all the way through. Ready, le, and. Le, le, varai, mome, mome, kalino, vo, struga, grada, mamo, du, kyanda, imam. Cool. Don't worry, guys, you'll get another go at it in a minute. So, voice two goes. Le, le, varai, mome, Let's just try that. Ready? And le le varai mome. So you guys just need to watch out for when you move down. Le le va, or rather stay on the same note because the top part is going to go up. Le le varai mome. Mome kalino is the next bit. Let's have a go at those. Ready? And le le varai mome. Mome kalino. One more time. And le le varai mome. Mome kalino. And then the next little bit is vo struga grada mamo du kyan. Ah, sorry, you got caught. That's the, that's the top part. Vo struga grada mamo du kyan da imam. So it's almost exactly the same as what you had the first time round. Already and vo struga grada mamo du kyan da imam. Cool. Um, so voice two, have a go. At all of that from Lele Varai, bar nine. Voice three, that's yours. Voice two, ready? And Lele Varai, Mome, Mome Kalino, Vo Struga Grada, Mamo Du Kanda Imam. Cool. Voice one, we get a quick go and then I'm going to put the track on and just let you have a go. <laughs> So voice one goes, le le varai mome. So that's where you have to watch out between voice one and two, okay? Le le varai mome. Voice one, have a go. Le le varai mome. Next bit, mome kalino, you guys. Mome kalino. Next little bit. Vo struga grada. Have a go. Vo struga grada. And then mamo du kyanda imam, which is the bit you've had before. So let's try from vo struga. Ready? And vo struga grada. Mamo du kyanda imam. Okay, awesome. So. Um, I'm going to go from the beginning and go to there. Have a go. Um, this is uh, just to have some fun, but it's also an exercise in just seeing if you can hold your parts. We've spent mm, 20 minutes maximum on this. So if you can't, um, it really doesn't matter. If you can, that's very fast work. Well done. Um, but we'll come back to this next week. So there's no, there's no worries if not. Um, so from the beginning. 
Here we go. I might sing some different parts. <laughs> um, and we do do the low, low vare twice as well. So we'll give that a go. Ready? I'm going to start with voice three. Here we go. And. <laughs> Awesome. Well done, guys. That was a very quick whiz. Um, we will do some more on that next week. Um, just before I hand over to Jake, um, uh, what do I need to say? I need to say um, that we are very, very grateful to everybody for being here. Um, we are very grateful to everybody who has supported us over the last few months um, and who has continued to engage. Um, it's really lovely to have you. We really appreciate it. Um, those who have supported us with donations, we are incredibly grateful. It's enabled us to keep going. Um, if you're enjoying the sessions, if you are able to and would like to um, support us financially, then um, there is a PayPal link at quaggycommunitychoir.com forward slash South London Home Choir. Um, we did make the very deliberate decision to um, make these sessions open, to not charge specific fees for them. Um, we know that everybody is in different financial circumstances and that times are weird and hard. <laughs> Um, so that was very much a choice and we would not want anybody to not be able to come and sing with us. Um, if, if you would like to make a donation, we'd be very, very grateful. Um, if not, if you can't at the moment, maybe if you wanted to share with some friends that you were doing this, let them know about it and maybe uh, spread our community wider. That would be awesome too. Um, so basically, basically anything to spread the word we're very grateful for as well. Um, so thanks guys I will see you in a little bit to revise something that you already know and in the meantime I'm going to hand over to Jake for a bit of psychedelic fun <laughs> so Jake all yours hi again we are going to take a quick break from singing our repertoire now and learn a quick arrangement of a Beatles song this is a true 60s masterpiece tomorrow never knows if you can't remember how it goes, then you might recognise it once we start singing. This song can be divided into four sections. We have two verses, section one and section two. Those are the verses. And then we have this, this is the beginning thing, which happens at the end. Let's look at the two verses to start with. They're both canons or rounds, which means that different parts of the song can be overlaid over other parts. In other words, different sections of the choir would normally start at different times. So this person starts, turn off your mind, and then this other person comes in, turn off your mind. Um, let's learn section one. It goes, turn off your mind, relax and float downstream. Yeah, I recognise it. Let's sing that line. Turn off, turn off. One, two, three. Turn off your mind, relax and float downstream. Let's sing it again. Everything's all a little bit offbeat. I'll tap the rhythm. One, two, three. Turn off your mind, relax and float downstream. One more time. Two, three. Turn off your mind, relax and float downstream. Good, and then it goes. It is being. It is being. Those, those it is beings. And it is being. It is being. Good, and if you know the song very well, you'll know that isn't quite how it goes, but I've kind of changed it around a bit to make it work 
nicely as a round. So, it is being, it is being, let's just sing that. It is being, it is being, good, let's try it from the top. Section one. One, two, three. Turn off your mind, relax and float downstream. It is being, it is being. Again. Turn off your mind, relax and float downstream. It is being, it is being. One more time. Turn off your mind, relax and float downstream. It is being, it is being. Okay. I think we're going to try a little practice loop of just this bit, okay? So, like I said, it's a round, so um, we're going to do it four times, and there's just going to be uh, some little pauses in between, okay? Little pauses while we wait for the previous loop to start, and then we're in. So just watch me. It's going to sound like this when we get to the end. It is being, and then you'll hear it. Turn off your mind, turn off your mind. And that's where we come in, okay? Each time you've just got to wait for that same length of time after you've sung It Is Being. Let's give it a go. Turn off. I'll recap one more time, and then I'll try it as a loop. One, two, three. Turn off your mind, relax and float downstream. It is being, it is being. Okay, now it's a loop. Turn off your mind, relax and float downstream. It is being, it is Okay, well done. If that was a little bit confusing, don't panic, stay with me, it will get easier. We're going to do section two now, which works in a very uh, similar way. The rhythm is slightly different though. Love is love and love is everything. Again, very offbeat. Love is love and love is everything. Love is love and Let's just try it. And love is love and love is everything. Just one more time, just that. Love is love and love is everything. Good, then it goes. It is, it is shining. It is shining. So it is shining works exactly the same way as it is being. Let's try it. And it is shining. It is shining. Good, let's do it again. It is shining. It is shining. Good, 
from the top of this section. Love is love and love is everything. It is shining. It is shining. Let's do it one more time. Love is love and love is everything. It is shining. It is shining. Okay, good. And this one, we're going to do it as a round as well. Uh, we'll do a little practice of that. Now, um, the difference between this one and the last one, we do it four times. That's, 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 that's the thing that stays the same. The difference is that you need to wait for longer between each time through. So, it is shining, it is shining. Good, then you hear, love is love and love is everything. You're in, love is love and love is everything. So basically, you just need to wait twice as long as you did the previous time. Um, and if you still don't understand what I mean, just watch me, okay? I'll give you um, signals as to when you've got to come in each time. Um, let's just recap and then I'll start the loop. Love is love. Two, three. Love is love and love is everything. It is shining, it is shining. Okay, let's do this. Love is love and love is everything. It is shining, it is shining. Love is love and love is everything. Love is love and love is everything. It is shining. It is shining. And love is everything. Love is love and love is everything. Love is love and love is everything. It is Brilliant. Okay, um, so now we're going to look at the third section. Okay, this is the beginning. I'm just going to put a light on actually. It's getting a little bit dark in here. One second. Okay, that's a tiny bit better. Um, this is the beginning. This is the beginning. Um, and this is easy enough, or at least it sounds like it is at first. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. That's all you have, and you just repeat that, okay? Let's just try it. And this is the beginning. This is the beginning. Good. It's a bit like it is shining, it is shining. Same notes. <coughs> and this is the beginning. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. Okay, what I want to do now is a little practice loop of that. So your challenge is just to keep singing, this is the beginning, this is the beginning. And my challenge is to put you off from that endeavor. Okay? So I'm gonna be singing um, some 
harmonies. Let's call them harmonies. Um, and you just got to keep singing. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. That'll be the high part that you can hear in this little loop that we're about to create, okay? Stick to that high line. Let's give it a go. And this is the beginning. This is the beginning. This, this is, is the, the beginning. This is the beginning. This, this is the, the beginning. This is 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 the beginning. So as you can hear, it does get a little bit confusing. That's kind of the idea. It just I'm providing, I'm giving you some harmonies that provide the whole thing, you know, a bit of texture. Um, but I just want you to stick to that. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. And keep going with that, okay? So that's the third section. <clears throat> the fourth section is even easier. Um, I just want you to do the first kind of low, this is the beginning, and just repeat that. This is the very end, and I'll be singing it too. So you just go, This is the beginning. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. Dead easy. This is the beginning. Okay. Um, so we've looked at all of these sections now. Um, last couple of little things to learn. Uh, for those of you that know the song, well, this will be very familiar. It's the rhythm at the beginning. It's Ringo Starr's drumming. And it goes like this. That's your first bit, just banging somewhere on your chest or on whatever in, whatever's in front of you. Let's just get that going. Yeah, good. Yeah, okay. Let's do it again, and. And then we come in with some clapping. So it's like one clap and then two claps very fast. <coughs> Excuse me. And that just gives us a little rhythmic foundation on which we build the entire song, okay? Um, final thing, uh, just to give the song some more texture and to make it a little bit more psychedelic, we're just gonna add a little bit of vocalization in between section one and section two. You don't need to worry too much about this, but let's have a go at it anyway, because I'll be doing it in a minute. So the first thing we're gonna go, we're gonna do is bum ba da lum bum 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 like that it's a rhythm that kind of goes against the rhythm of the song bum ba da lum bum 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 okay let's just do it again bum ba da lum bum and bum ba da lum bum 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 Bum, 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 bum. 
Okay, not terribly important, but I will be doing it, so watch out for that. The next bit... <laughs> just sort of in free time, some R's, just some descending R's. <laughs> it's just going to make it sound... It's going to go against the rhythm again and make it sound just a little bit more trippy, okay? So, watch out for that too. Right, that's it, we've learned everything. So, to recap, we start with the body percussion. Some tapping, then some clapping. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay? Um, <clears throat> and then, we go into section one. Let's just recap section one, just sing it once through. Turn off your mind. Turn off your mind. One, two, three. Turn off your mind. Relax and float downstream. It is being. It is being. Okay, and that's four times through in that round that we practiced earlier. We then add our vocalization. Followed by That will only take a matter of seconds really to do that. <clears throat> we don't want to overload the loop with that. Um, then we move into section two. Love is love and love is everything. Let's just recap that. Love is love, love is love. Two, three. Love is love and love is everything. It is shining. It is shining. Okay. Um, and then we go into this is the beginning. And remember, you just keep repeating it no matter what you hear me doing. Just stick stubbornly to the high line that you hear in the loop. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. You'll start to hear. This is the be, this is the be, this is the be, this is the be. Ignore all that. Just this is the beginning. This is the beginning. That's the third section. And then we move into the fourth section, which is where I start to fade the loop. And we just do that. This is the beginning, the first low. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. This is the beginning, etc, etc, to the end. Okay, it's time for us to have a go at this whole thing. Um, the thing to remember is to watch me. I will hold up um, a number indicating the start of each section. In fact, I'll hold up a number indicating which section we're on. Um, so, um, one, two, three, and four. Um, and I'll bring us in each time, okay? And I'll bring us in on these ones that are rounds, I'll bring us in on each time through the round. Um, the other thing to remember is just have fun and commit. This arrangement really requires you to commit. And, you know, if you go wrong, who cares? The idea isn't to get it right, the idea is to sing. Having said that, good luck. We start with some body percussion. That's the speed.
Okay, well done everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. It was um, certainly uh, something a little bit different. Um, thanks for singing with me this evening. Um, here's Alan and now to take you through to the end, or should I say the beginning, with something you know. Alana. Thanks, Jake. Hi again. Wow, that was cool. Um, so I thought uh, when Jake said that we were doing something a little psychedelic, um, I thought maybe it'd be good to finish with something calming that you know. Um, and you know this fairly well by now, but we haven't done it for a little while. So it seemed to me like Red is the Rose would be a nice one to finish with today. So um, as with the other things, if you don't have a score to hand and you'd like one, you can find it at quaggycommunitychoir.com forward slash South London Home Choir. Um, let's have a quick recap and then a nice um, calming, uh, calm down with a with a lovely folk song. So um, let's actually start with the verse because we usually do start with the chorus. So um, lots of oohs for you guys. So you've kind of got into that now with the last one. Um, so. So as with the previous folk song that we did earlier, uh, three voice parts, voice three is lowest, voice two is the middle, voice one is the top. Um, so let's start with voice three. So you've got some nice long oohs. So you're going to have, ooh, we're going from uh, bar 10. You've got, ooh, let's just do that, ready, and, Ooh, then Ooh, so nice scale just coming down ready and Ooh, next bit Ooh, Voice three, do that, and ooh, last little bit, ooh, but if you're singing voice three and like me, that is a little too low, you can also take that one up, I think Jake doesn't mind, excellent, um, so the last line you can choose either ooh, so it's the same note but an octave higher so voice three let's just give that a go <clears throat> obviously other parts if you know your part feel free to sing along so um voice one will be going come over the hills voice two will be going ooh voice three ready and three four and you can pick your notes at the end okay awesome <clears throat> voice two you stick on an F for a long time, which should be easy, but it's really not. Um, you are the kind of, you are the anchor point, but everybody else is kind of moving quite close around you at times. So just really stick on that note. So you're gonna do that three times. Let's do it. And. is seven and then a breath each time okay mm, sorry i'm going to put light on too i think it looks all right for you guys point of view but in my room it's it's just steadily feeling grayer and grayer um so let's just uh put the last line on so the last line it's you've had seven on an ooh and then you actually have two be two beats off for a breath and come in with And 
you actually have quite a few clashes in that line. So as much as it sounds very straightforward on its own, you really have to stick to your guns. Okay, so um, let's do, I'm going to sing voice two over voice three, I think. Let's see if I can find the right place in the track. <laughs> so, voice three, voice two. Let's see if we can do it. Red is the rose that Yeah. Jake, can I turn that up? It's very quiet for me. <laughs> okay, cool. Good. Right. Okay, let's do voice one and then we'll just give that another try. Um, of course, when we put the whole track all combined in, it will be much louder and I'll have to adjust it again. It's all good. Voice one, you've got. Come over the hills, my bonny Irish lass. Let's just give that a go and come over the hills, my bonny Irish lass. Next bit. Come over the hills to your darling. You guys. Come over the hills to your darling. Next bit. Uh, let's just check that actually. So voice three you can sing along voice two voice one ready and come over the hills my bonny irish lass come over the hills to your darling next line you choose the road love and i'll make the vow let's just try that and you choose the road, love, and I'll make the vow. Next line. And I'll be your true love forever. You guys. And I'll be your true love forever. So a couple of little things that might just help you with those top notes. Firstly, um, on you choose... Actually, they're both ooh vowels. So I don't know about you, you might notice this. I don't do very um, pure ooh vowels and that actually makes it harder from um, a vocal point of view. Because if you do it is, and it's a bit shallow, it's actually quite hard to get it out in a nice way and it affects what comes next. If you can make it a more uh, sort of long rounded it's actually much easier i still have to try and remind myself to do this um so you guys can give it a go um and the same thing with true on true love and i'll be your true love forever it doesn't come naturally to me at all but it's so much easier so i would really recommend going for a, a nice kind of relaxed but pure long kind of ooh vowel give it a try let me know if that helps um Cool, let's try it all together with the all three parts. I'm gonna sing the top part first this time. So voice three, voice two. Here we go.
Good. All right. We're going to do, th let's just do verse two very quickly. Um, actually, no, let's not. I'm going to trust you on verse two because um, it's musically the same. Just about. There's a couple of changes in, uh, in voice one with the second verse, but it's just to fit the extra words in. So we'll see how get on. So a uh, quick go of the chorus. I'm just going to sing it once on each part. Sing along with me. Um, so that should go from the beginning. I'm just going to put it straight in with the track. So voice three, voice two, voice one. I'm going to sing voice three. Red is the rose that in yonder garden grows. Fair is the lily of the valley. Clear is the water that flows from the boyne. But my love is fairer than any. Cool. So voice three. That was a quick reminder of yours. I'm going to sing voice two, give you a quick reminder of that. So voice three, voice two, voice one. And Red is the rose that in yonder garden grows. Fair is the lily of the I love about this but does require maybe a little bit of thought is the really really long lines um, and if you can get that sense of almost being suspended so it it flows um, without feeling like there's heavy kind of drops um, it really really helps so a little exercise that we sometimes do is to just point towards the camera um, which is a visual reminder of your breath flow just needing to keep going forwards um so just, just give it a go i want you to point towards me as we sing <laughs> so uh let's just do so each phrase is one through like this red is the rose that in yonder garden grows fair is the lily of the and even when you run out of anywhere to go, the intention is still forward. So it's just reminding you to keep breathing out, um, which that may sound daft because, of course, you're breathing out when you sing, but just consciously and with strong airflow, because that is what is going to support your sound and allow it to not be really tense kind of here. OK, so let's just have a go. I'm going to sing voice three again on the chorus just give that a go once so voice three voice two voice one two three and red is the rose that in yonder garden grows fair is the lily of the valley clear is the water that flows from the get on with that um okay can we just practice ooze as well quickly so um voice two and three you have a lot of ooze actually so i did it with voice one um but voices two and three um you have it for quite a long time so just very quickly voice three ooh. so it's that sense of 
ooh rather than ew <laughs> which I'm so good at demonstrating how to not do it <laughs> so do the long darker rounder version okay ooh. so voice three give it a go ready two three and Excellent. Voice two, same thing. So really noticing if you have a nice kind of relaxed jaw, so it's a um, quite a long feeling ooh shape, um, rather than my ooh, which feels like it's like that. So ooh. Okay. Voice two. So if you go, if the rest of you want to sing, voice three, voice two, voice one. This is the best bit. Okay. Two, three, and ooh. usually have a finger point as well Ooh. Ooh. awesome okay fab guys well done um i think i'm gonna put the whole track on and just let you get on with it and screw oh. So let's just keep keep doing a finger point through the phrases, at least for the first chorus. Um, and then just having a think about those oohs. Um, it helps you with the breath flow as well. If you have an ooh rather than ooh. <laughs> have a play. Try doing the other one. See what you think. Uh, let me know. I'd be very interested to, to hear how you find it. Okay. So. Voice three. Voice two.
awesome. Well done, guys. Um, so I don't know what's happening on all the other pages because we're we're on about six pages tonight. But uh, certainly on the Palace Acapella page, there's a lot of comments around. Uh, really can't wait to sing this together in person. Um, and I'm sure that is a sentiment that's echoed by Quaggy and by all the other choirs, uh, choir members who are joining us tonight. So thank you all very much indeed. Um, it's lovely that we can still connect in this way, even though it is not the same. And I can't wait to be in a room singing with you all again at some point. Um, please do, if you're missing that though, please do join our virtual choir project. Um, it will probably be the last one of the term, at least for South London Home Choir. Um, quaggycommunitychoir.com forward slash South London Home Choir, the, the rehearsal track, the guide track, all the instructions about how to record, um, everything you need is there um, and you have until Friday. So please do join us for that. Um, we will be back tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. for our crib note singing break and also next Tuesday for South London Home Choir. In the meantime, um, stay safe, have a good week, keep singing and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>